Huh? Yes? Uh, excuse me, Major, but this is really urgent. Y what is it? It's about four corners, sir, or what's left of it. Yes? Now, I know I asked you to make it rain down there, and I certainly appreciate your help, but, Major, this is, uh, oh, my, my brother said the streets are turning into rivers. His farm's three feet underwater. The barn floated away this morning. <laughs> the barn floated away? You gotta stop that rain, sir. Well, Sergeant, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, one of the tools I use is out of town at the moment, and uh, uh, we'll discuss this at a, at a later date. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, just a moment, Sergeant. We'll discuss it right now. Uh, well, it's not, really nothing that would interest you, sir. Interest me? Why, it fascinates me, Major. Uh, from what I just heard, I gather that Sergeant Roberts' brother has a farm. He asked you to make some rain. You did. And now that you've caused a flood, he's asked you to stop it. Yeah, well, that's the gist. Would you say that was an accurate summation, Sergeant? Oh, well, uh, uh, yes, sir, I guess I would. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's just what I wanted to hear. I'll see you in my office in ten minutes. Uh, yes, sir. Do you remember I mentioned uh, pinning you down, Major? Hmm. Well, um, that's what I had in mind. A live witness. I'll see you in my office in ten minutes. Well, I am back, Master. Oh, yes, I see. Did you think about me? You might say that. Oh, I missed you, Master. I miss you, too. My father made you this camel pouch, and my mother baked you this cake, and my sister knitted you this sweater. Oh, Master, you were right. She has grown up. That's very kind of them, Jeannie. You can thank them for me when you see them this afternoon. Huh? This afternoon? Oh, well, I am not going back. Well, you might as well. Now, I have a feeling I'm not going to be around for the next couple of years. Has something happened, Master? Jeannie... Why didn't you stop the rain when you left? Rain? Oh, four corners. I left the water running. There's nothing left of the place. It's a lake. And General Peterson's going to blame me. Oh, well, it is not your fault. I will tell him that he can... Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, Master. Is there anything I can do? It looks like Dr. Bellows has finally caught me. And this time, he's got a witness. <laughs> You're saying that Tony Nelson rained on a town called Four Corners? He not only rained on it, General, he flooded it out. Doctor, I'm warning you, this is the last time... General, I've got him right where I want him. They're meeting us in my office. Boy, when you make it rain, you sure don't fool around, do you? <laughs> I'll, I'll try to figure out some way to help your brother and his family. I'd sure appreciate that. Yeah. First, I've got to figure out a way to help myself. Now, Major Nelson. I'll handle this. Tony, Dr. Bellows is under the impression that you can control the weather. Can you? No, sir, I can't. Uh, Sergeant Roberts. I Mr. said I'd handle this. Yes, General. Sergeant Roberts, do you have any proof that Major Nelson can make it rain or snow? Well, I haven't any proof, uh, no, sir, but uh, it sure did come down cats and dogs down in Alabama. And it was Major Doctor. Nelson. That's all, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Can you make it rain or snow? No, General. Yes, you can. Uh, make it snow. Uh, Dr. Bellows, honestly, try. Snow. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Doctor. <laughs> I'm so sorry about all this, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was all a coincidence. Snow. <laughs>